Welcome back to the Sawmill Build. We're up to episode 13 now. We're clipping her right along. This is your first time here. Should be a link to the playlist up there. Check it out if this is something that interests you. In this episode, we're going to cover the log bunks that the log sits on, as well as that one's tight. The log dogs and clamping system. So let's see what went into building these. So this is going to be the bunk that the logs sit on. It has to be elevated up, obviously, so we can cut stuff. This is 2x2, two 1 two, eighth wall, 29 inches long. So we will get just a little bit of clearance between the runners of the carriage. Two pieces, three inch, also two by two, one eight wall. I decided to go with two pieces stacked on top of one another to keep everything even. Because most of these pieces look like they were chewed off by a beaver, and that's going to introduce some irregularities in the bunks may not really be an issue but this is an extra 12 pieces of 2x2 two two tube and 3 inches long so it wasn't a big deal pieces on the end. That one really looks like a beaver chewed it off. That's one down. Now we just need six more of them. We'll check back once we got them all together. Okay. We've got our six bunks now. It's time to weld them down to these cross members.
should be pretty straightforward. Just weld it inside. Now we're going to slide the carriage. Oh, there's going to be an issue. Our angle is there to hold it together on the bottom of the way. Anyways, we'll slide the carriage up to the next one. And once the carriage is in the <laughs> then we'll go the outside. Time to start some log dogs. We're gonna this is we're gonna start on the stationary side. These are one and three quarter one hundred wall, same as we used on the blade guides. I think they're five inches long. So three eighths coarse nut, just one, welded on the bottom. The theory is it's not gonna matter if it moves sideways but if it's pinned on the bottom and a log pushing on the top if it goes on the bunk square the dog should stay square in theory I don't know if that's gonna hold true and because of the way we built the bunks we've got some high spots so we need to take those down High spots may have been mostly slag too. Get us a clamp ready. We have our trusty square. So we're going to put this oh, nut down facing that way. We're going to come down below the surface probably a half an inch or so. We're going to drop the square on the ground just because you know that's part of it.
That looks pretty good. And I'm pretty confident I just moved that some, but... Oh yes. But we can move it back. Okay, that looks square. We'll get a few bits of weld on here. And we should move our clamp. Don't want to ground through the bearings on the carriage. That's all there is to that. That one at least. Now we've got five more to go. I don't know if I said this or not, but there's going to be one on every bunk. Only ever used two at a time. But if they're there, I can use them. Just easier to do this now than get into a predicament down the road and be like, oh, I wish I had a dog there. Okay, so we've got some log dogs built. We've built two of each kind, because I think that's all we need. We've got these. I'm not sure how high they are, because I did not measure them. I just eyeballed them. And these will drop in. I think I'm going to weld some washers on the top of the bolts to be kind of like a wing nut. We'll have to grind a little on here just to smooth it out and that's so the log can't grab it as you're trying to roll the log over and of course different heights and when we're cutting cants we've got these this is just a piece of inch and a half square tube with two by quarter flat bar. I think they're three inches long. You drop it down, you can get way down and get just the bottom edge of the clamp, not the clamp, the cant, and squeeze it up against it. So now we gotta make the clamp side of the dogs. All right, let's talk about the movable end of the log dogs. This is one inch square tubing, one eighth wall, two inches long. That's going to get welded into the, the angle iron like so. Three feet, three quarter round bar, which is a nice snug fit in there. Another piece, same as these, inch and three quarter. That'll get welded like that and can slide along here. This is only temporary, I think, because I want it to play with the mill and half inch coupling nut, half inch throat rod. This is inch and a half square and it fits down in there so it can adjust up and down and in and out to meet the log. So we're just going to Mark center. Take your square tube. 
just welded down each side and there's not really even a whole lot of weld in there. To make these a little more aesthetically pleasing, we're going to trim them down a little bit. enough. Almost. Enough we can take it off the pliers. That's what we're left with. We will trim these corners, but not right now. Okay, so we've got our two end caps on. We're going to drop that down in the frame track, whatever you want to call it. I call it bolt. Drill a hole in 
just going to mark where the edge of it meets the frame so we know where to make our trim cut to round the corners off. And we're also going to put a couple of lines because there's eight of these in total and not two of them are going to be the same because everyone's just been eyeballed for drilling. It's going to be a pain in the ass when I break it down to paint. Don't worry about that at that time. Now we'll enlarge these holes so they can be threaded. bolted in, the bolts are getting trimmed off flush with the bottom so that there's no hangy down bits. So now we're going to take our ends with pilots. We've also got our little marks on the back. We're going to put these in the vise. Drill the hole out to final size. We're going to nip these corners off to meet that line. Part. This goes on. Doesn't matter how it goes because it swings around. One. Two. it where we need it. It'll move easier as time goes on. There's burrs on the inside of everything from being cut off, but that's our log dogs.